Now, almost every one of us that hunts or shoots needs a good scope. The real problem is which one to pick because there's literally thousands to choose from. Main ranging costs from 25 to 2,500. The vast majority of us are looking for something to put on a hunting rifle or range gun and not break the bank. We don't need the top of the line, but we also don't want some piece of crap and there's tons of it out there. What if I told you that you could get a 3 to 12 by 44 scope with good clear glass, good light transmission, a BDC reticle, an IPX7 water submersion rating, could handle being dropped 15 feet and frozen solid and still work great? What if I also told you that it came with an infinite lifetime guarantee and MSRPs at 159 but you can find it for just over 100 Would that interest you? It sure as hell did me. Six Hour just launched their new Buckmasters line and it offers everything we just mentioned. Let's check it out and see for ourselves. I'm Drew, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion. So we are all familiar with SIG Optics and their reputation. Problem is, for a lot of folks, it's just out of their budget. Or are they? Not with the new Buckmasters line. Now sure, I have a few high-end optics and some high-end guns, but I'm always looking for the best bang for my buck, as are most of my followers. Let's just take a quick look at the specs and techs for the Buckmasters and see what it claims or what it's offering. Okay, still has my attention, but how is it in real life? Only one way to really know. Let's torture test it. It's good and froze. We'll let it kind of warm back up, make sure we don't have any condensation in there, and get it mounted and get to the fun part, the shooting. Okay, so it appears to have survived what most optics at this price level would have failed. I got it mounted. Let's get it zeroed at 50. Now, I almost forgot. Anytime you have an optic, you got to get a decent mount. One of my favorites is the Warren. Check this out. It's a great mount. It's one of my favorites. I have, I don't know how many of these, and I highly recommend them. Okay, so we got it mounted, and we zeroed it at 50. I've got this on my match, Radical Firearms. I did a review on this a while back. I got this back uh, pre-COVID for $199. Anyway, I want to see what I can get for groups at 100, and then we're going to use the BDC in this, and we're going to go 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and test this out. So here's what we're seeing. Boy, it dials in nice. <laughs> that was right in the very bullseye dime size. Okay, 
Okay, so we got this sighted in at 100. This was when I was working at it. I just took the paper off. This was when I was moving in from 50 yards. Then I moved it to 100 yards and dialed it right in. I had a flyer. That's awesome. I'm happy with that. Now it's steel banging time. That's what I'm talking about. The BDC is not caliber specific, so I wasn't sure what to expect. I did contact SIG and they said that it was based off of using a 270 for deer hunting. Okay, so we got some pretty decent groups here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just test out our bullet drop compensator hash marks, although it appears that they're not specific to any caliber, but let's just see how they do. And we'll just walk them up. We'll start with 200. Okay, and they're pretty much right on. I can. Nice. All right, well, let's try four. Nice. All right. Need to put some more ammo in. We'll try five. Okay, so I was just using the hash marks. 200, I was using the first line. 300, I was using the second line. 400, I was using the third line. We'll try 500, and I'll use the fourth line. It hit! There we go. There we go. Now we're hitting it. Nice. Once we're done sighting it in and we're happy with the zero, we can use a little Allen wrench and reset these. Check this out. Now zero the turrets is really easy. It comes with an Allen wrench. We just loosen this top. Hold on to that. Doesn't this one doesn't turn when it comes up? So we do have to screw it until it kind of pops out. And then basically spin it around to zero. Once we've got it on the zero, we push it back down. Just be careful with that screw. If you're out on a deck like this, you drop that, you're gonna lose it. Okay, and now it's set to zero and we'll do the same here. Okay, so now I have both of these set to zero. Even though I was using the BDC really effectively, if I wanna make adjustments, if I, change, if I change ammo or the weight or something and I need to change it, then I can go back and do that. And then same thing over here. I've got that set to zero as well. Once we do that, then we just put our caps back on. Got a little rubber gasket down there. It did great with the water submersion. Put it on, don't strip it. There we go, guys. The Buckmasters. There you have it. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel and be sure to hit that subscribe button. This really helps the most. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting, guys. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety and be a safe and responsible gun owner.